Hi guys, welcome back. Aki manze ni mewa Miss Mbaya. Karibuni sana. This episode has to do two things. Number one, to remind us that we need to leave our purpose. And number two, to see the struggles that we go through when we are chasing our purpose in life. Manze hii life si rahisi. Lazima u struggle. And we said struggles are there. But one thing we said, no losing hope. My guest today is going to give us a story of where he wanted to be and who he wanted to become and in his process of chasing his purpose in life, what he met in the way and how he managed to overcome all these challenges. You see, back to no losing hope. And stay tuned because I'm coming back with a very exciting guest, Karibu Sana. Karibu sana bwana. Asante sana. Siku mingi. Ah, karibu niko salama. <laughs> karibu sana. Eh. Hey. Finally uko hapa. Niko hapa. Tumekutana. Tumekutana. Karibu sana. Asante. Hey, kwanza kabla tuanze, just tell your viewer here, our viewer that who you are. Jina lako umetoka wapi? Umelelewa wapi? Eh, hey, alafu tukiendelea. Okay, kwanza nashukuru Mungu ambaye mm-hmm. ameniwezesha nimefika wakati kama hii. Mimi ni kwa machini anaitha Joseph Mayaka Ekonga. Kutoka Nyamira. Haa, nimesoma utu huko Nyamira kwetu. High school, nikaenda molo. Aa, na nikafanya kwa rechi mbili tatu hivo. Ya kutengeneza masimu. Na ya kunda magadi. Pengine kabla utuambie college. Mm-hmm. Nyumbani mko watoto wangapi. Okay. Haya. Watoto tuko watoto sita kwetu ambaye tuko vichana wawili Fatih ni kijana mimi na wasichana wane kwenda nyuma. Yeah. So ndio wa pili. Ndio wa pili. So ukaenda shule ukafanya college kama hivi. Mm. Kabla tufike kwa college ulikuwa uki, uki, ukisikia kama ukikuwa mkubwa what would you want to become? Ilikuwa nataka ni kwe nifanye kasi yangu nisiachiliwe na mtu. Kwanza nilikuwa nataka mambo ya nilikuwa engineer. Mechanical engineer ndio nilikuwa nataka sana sana. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So ulikuwa ukikaa hivi una unafikiria if you became an engineer you would be very happy, very contented and that's what you really wanted to become. Yes. So these two colleges. Mm-hmm. Were they in engineering? No, moja ni change unachoa kuna venye unafikiria lakini mambo ina change. Niende nikasomea masimu mobile phone technology kwenye siri kujia uh, for which ilinipea pesa msuri sana the year, it was the year 2004 nilifanya hiyo kasi jifunza hapo hata siku maliza nikapata flow ya pesa mzuri nikaacha nikafungua yangu nikakusa pesa mzuri sana so somehow wewe ulikuwa engineer vile ulikuwa unataka eh ilikuwa hivyo na mechanic mechanic nao nilifanya kilicho nilifanya so lakini sasa hii ingine ya simu ndio nilifanya vizuri kabisa. Ile ya simu ilifana kabisa ndio ilishika kufinda hii ingine ya. Eh kabisa. Okay. Mm. So ulifanya muda gani kutengeneza simu? Sikuenda sana. Mm. Nilienda miaka miwili. Mm. Mwaka wa tatu watu wakajaa kila mahali unaenda mobile phone repair, mobile phone repair. Competition ikakuwa ikakuwa hai. Nikaachana tu. Pesa ikaanza kuteremka. Eh nika switch. Najua Mungu amenisaidia. Mm. Technology ikikuja ninaingia mara hiyo. So simu ilikuwa tek- ndio mambo ndio sikuwa simeingia. Nikapiga hisap nikajua mafundi hayuko hawako nikaingia kwa hiyo. Tena kidogo nikavenja kwa mopa nini kwenye siriacha nikaachana nazo nikavenja kwa pikipiki motorbikes. Nikatengeneza nao nikatengeneza pesa mzuri sana. To an extent nikaenda Uganda kuleta maspares. So oh, niliona jama fulani hapo kwetu alienda ngambo nikaona amefanya kasi mzuri sana ni life nilikuwa nataka tukiwa wadogo nilikuwa nasema Mungu anisaidie siku moja nikikunywa chai nikikunywa na mkate ama na chapati sasa na nikuwe na gari yangu ya kudrop na ikiwezekana at least nikuwe na kwangu nimechenga mtu anasema oh, fulani anakaa wapi asiyo anakaa na robi na anakuwa ki amechenga huko so nilikuwa nataka tu hizo vitu na watu wangu wasikufukuza school fees hiyo tu Nikaona chama moja kwa US vya na perform mambo kwa ambao siwezi tacha yeye China nikasema nami nitaenda US. 
nikapata kwenda US ni mlima. Nikaambiwa acha kusumbuka. Kuna kasi Dubai, Saudia. Sai ukiongea vizuri, nitakupa mtu anakupeleka Qatar. Si nikapata jamaa akaniambia kuna connection ya kuna Qatar. Mhm. Aliniambia kama una kuna passport, kaambia sina. Kaniambia kuna kitu naongea. Tafuta passport ndio tuanze process. So nikatafuta passport, nikapata uh, driving license nayo, nikapata nikaenda sasa. Kufika pale akaniambia lazima utae down payment ya uh, 50,000. Eh nikakuta pale nikamwambia kitu zangu ndio hizi akanipa akanipeleka medical, nikapita. So nikaambiwa sasa ni kuenda ngambo huko uh, Katale. Wewe ndio kasema kapula working visa ikitokea tu hivi lazima utoe pesa hiyo ingine imepakia ukisikia kwa mkono ndio utoe yote so ilikuwa total 70000 50 kasi ulipe kwanza wa process ya kimaliza umpe 20000 ndio upande ndege uende nikafanya hivyo nikaenda ngambo hapo nikafanya kazi mzuri sasa vile nilifika pale kuna mahali tunaenda ukipelewa kuna kuna mahali mnawasewa muna, manguo Tuseme ni kama hostel. Unajua kasi yangu na natoa wa wageni pale nikipeleka mahali fulani. It's like a no, taxi driver online taxi driver. Hiyo ndio kasi tuko tunafanya. Nikiwa pale kuna chama tulipata wanaenda kutoka. So akaniambia niepata connection ya Dubai. So ukiwa hapa hata usimalize nini yote miaka mbili, maliza moja, alafu ukuje nikupe connection ya kwenda Dubai. So nikafanya moja mwaka moja nikaacha Kenya nikampata kaniambia kuna connection akaniconnect kwenda sasa Dubai bado ujue it's part of Saudi ni UAE United Arab Emirates nataka sasa nataka Dubai eh thinking kwamba nimekuta vacation kidogo kwa wasalimia nyumbani nirudi lakini si kurudi nikaacha nikakaa Kenya huyo akafanya connection pale akanipeleka Dubai lakini ilikuwa utapeli ya wizi ya Dubai ilikuwa ya utapeli. Ile ilikuwa harali tu working visa na ya Dubai nikapewa fisting visa. Nikaenda pale kule ule tu mama. Akaniambia kwa fili hutaki kwenda pale na utanialipia CV yangu pale. Wacha nitafute Kiswahili nyingine yenye nitasawadanganya juu yako. Ndio wasini ndio wasini nyime kazi siku nyingine. Lakini mimi well, na connect ya Dubai. Ya, lakini ya Dubai sio mimi ninakupeleka niko na rafiki yangu ako na rafiki yake ndiye ataniconnect unajua aliniambia unaenda kama driver kwanza venye umeenda Qatar uko na international license akaniambia taangalia passport yako ana imedungwa hiyo mi imepewa mimi so akaniambia utakula 110000 cash money hiyo ndio utakuwa ukikula hiyo pesa nikaenda kupiga hiyo times 12 kwa mwaka moja nikaona nimekuwa tachidi my dreams imekuja through <laughs> sasa si process yanze akaniambia yu unalipa pesa ya miezi miwili yani sinaenda kukula 110 kwa hivyo kwa mission yake itakuwa times 2 miezi miwili itakuwa 220 nikamwambia mna shida pora nipate kazi nipe pesa ya mwezi mmoja ambao ni 110000 as a deposit ndio nifanye eh? preparation yako ya kwenda nikampa sasa akaniambia amemaliza kidogo My younger sister ambaye ananifuata mara ya tano akaniambia Jose hiyo working visa ungefaa upewe sioni nimeona fisting visa you are going there as a visitor sasa wewe kuna uchanja huyo madam nikampigia simu nikamwambia mbona hii imekuwa hivi singefaa kuwa working visa akaniambia hai kwani ujui vile watu wana survive hapa hii ni Kenya. Ukifika pale kuna watu watakuchenjea vitu yako ikuwe sambamba kabisa. Nikamwambia sasa sawa. Nikaelezea my sister. Akaniambia mimi nadhani wewe ni mtu ambaye umesoma umekawaniwa mchana. Na hiyo madam naye ananiambia wacha kupepewa kili. Wewe ni mtu mkupu umeenda mpaka ngambo. Sio tu si nimekupeleka Qatar. Uh, uh, Tena mbona ubebewa kili? Utakuja kuniletea kuku ni kule. Endelea kuniambia hivyo. Nikamwambia Wacha nikupe pesa. Nikaomba pesa mimi akaanza kushuruka akamaliza. 110. 110. Lakini ujue 
akaniambia sitampea hiyo ni siku imefika 150 at least hiyo ngine itabaki at least hiyo nitakucha kumlipa nikiwa ngambo na pale ngambo akaniambia kuna mwenye atanishika mkono kumbe hawa watu wanawake wawili kumbe huyu ni tapeli huyu kuna chama pale ambaye yako Dubai anaitwa Daniel sasa But I thank God juice hivi nimesikia amesikwa kwa sababu ya hiyo tapeli juni alibwali nikoni pesa yangu nikaanza kusema Mungu siku moja ufanye tendo kwa hawa watu so nikaenda pale chama tu kumbe tuko watu wengi kuna watu kutoka Tanzania watu kutoka Uganda na kulikuwa na wakenya lakini huyu agent hataki kukutanisha pamoja unaona mkienda airport anaongea na huyu kando anaongea na yule kando anamuuliza nini anaendelea akasema no nataka kuona passport yenu kama sinafanana ama na time frame ya kwenda na ndege namna gani unachoa saa nyingine kuna kwambia era so tukana tu rajuani akaniambia utavute pesa ya kutosha ya kusustain miezi miwili first two months na kwanga tight two to three months utavute pesa ya kusustain now my dad my dad was a teacher and uh, pastor alikuwa akatia walimu akaendea na pastor kidogo na akaritaya sasa uzuri is a very 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 understanding man my dad nikamwelezea kaniambia umefanya utapidi ya kutosha ehe nimefanya na nakwambia kwa fili uli sijuzi ulikuwa ngambo kwa hivyo umefanya tara research nikamwambia sawa kumbe nimegongwa huyu msichana niambie hiyo pesa umetafuta ya miezi miwili ama mitatu henda pale uchange kwa biro akaniambia umeleta pesa ngapi kwa sababu hiyo ni privacy yangu sikutaka nimweleze ni pesa ngapi nimepata nikamwambia nimepata just 10000 akaniambia 10000 will you survive with 10000 two months you are choking nikamwambia watanitumia zingine naye kwa fee ni mchancha akaniambia basi hiyo pesa uko nayo haitakusaidia pale henda pale kwa biro uchange na una change iko in terms of dirhams nikaenda pale nikachenjiwa si biro ni mimi na huyo mtu tumechufungia huko ndani nikaambia niko na 70000 nichenjie akanichenjia ndikiwa kwa mfuko huyu madam akaniambia oh na mimi nilikuwa na pesa zingine hapa nilikuwa nachenjie mtu fulani wacha na mimi niingie nichenje kumbe huko ndani anaenda kuuliza kwamba huyu mtu nimekuletea amechenji pesa ngapi akaambiwa amechenji 70000 ai akachua huyu fala nimempata sasa kumbe akia Mungu watu na kwaniwa connection imeanzia hapa ground hapa kwa ground grass root hapa paka ngambo huko atujatoka tumefika JKIA tumechekini huko sasa ndani sasa yeye amepaki huko nje akaniambia akanipigia simu kutoka ndani Mr Joseph usijaribu kutoka huko ndani ukitoka huko ndani si ushapeana deposit hiyo imeenda kwa hivyo cheza kama wewe Nicheza kama mimi ninacheza sasa nini? Mimi sijui kitu nacheza. Nikaenda pale wale watu wakakua vitu pale check-in akaenda akaniambia, "Ah, unaenda kufanya nini?" Nikamwambia mimi naenda kufanya kazi. Kazi na na fisting fisa. Bara fisita. Unaenda kama mtu anaenda kutembea huko. Umeona unapeleka na nani? Nikamwambia natarekwa napeleka huko na madam fulani fulani. Akaniambia nyinyi wewe ni msee unatapiriwa ukiona hata kama wewe huko soma usome fisting visa this one is not a working visa na mimi nikasema yenyewe nili niliambiwa nikampiga nikamwambia nimekatazwa hivi akaniambia wewe nilikwambia chesa kama wewe ni chese aje kuna mtu nakutumia hapo uko mbaya na ile mambo nakwambia immediately kama sio hivyo mimi usinitishe kitu yote na ukijaribu utoke hapo nje utarudi hapo kidogo mtu akakuja hapa akaniambia how are you who is this joseph, who is this joseph mayaka nikasema i'm here sir akam ni nini naendelea nilikuwa naenda ngambo sasa wamenikatasa kwa nini ati sina working visa niko na fisting visa aha uko na 1100 anaongelea anaongelea juu the higher side ndio utoe zile uko nazo so nikamwambia hapana i have only just 70000 na nime change niko na hizi pesa ya ngambo dilams kaniambia siko wapi pesa ndio is ah usitoe kwa mfuko wacha kutoa wacha kutoa nikamwambia sawa alikuwa na gaseti na subshooter mzuri sana nikaenda pale kaniambia 
dusa pesa pale wakilea pesa hapo chini pole pole tu kipulani tu hiyo nika nikaanza kutoa pesa kaniambia ile kama ile kamera ile kamera inakuona penduka hapo chini kidogo tu hivi utoe pesa pamoja na simu wekelea chini lakini simu baadaye urudishe kwa mfuko nikawekelea chini sasa kaambia tena nafikiria ni simu nime pesa ziko pale tena nikaokota simu yangu ikawa kwa mfuko yeye akakuja akakuja kama anapita akaangusha gazeti akakota ile pesa yote akaokota one touch nimeongwa 70000 sichapanda ndege ni refresh ni refresh hapo nikawapigia nyumbani kaambia nimeipigwa umeipigwa tena nikaona watu watakaonjeka pole nikanyamaza huyo akaniambia wacha kunia joseph huko ngambo pesa utaokota huko imagine unaenda kukula 110000 per month nikiasa pesa gani utafanya kenya hapo upate wewe sasa hiyo unalia utafika huko smile kasema sawa hapo 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 immediately wakapigisa ile chapa ile wanaikaa kwa mabagi ya mtu nikafuruta bagi yangu hapo nikaka kwa hiyo mshipi ikapeleka nikaenda pale kwa ile mtu wa mwenye alinidisa passport akaniambia wewe mwanaume umecheswa na umekubali umeenda nyinyi ni kwa mnaenda kukulia kwa tv mkisema saidia saidia mkenya kwa maarifa ni ametezeka saidia mkenya ametezeka akaniambia wewe acha na hiyo fara jamaa akaniambia acha na hiyo mtu nikamwambia wewe ni 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 kitu nitoke akasaini mimi nikatoka nikapanda hivyo nikaingia kwa hapo kwa, kwa ndege nikaenda ha, sasa kufika pale Shaja airport nikalakiwa hapo na huyo Daniel akatulaki hapo uh, sasa fa, pa, pale kuna ile free wifi mnapewa so akanipigia simu Uh, akaniambia Joseph umefika haya nimefika uko wapi niko mahali fulani akaniona akaniambia nishakuona si umefaa hivi na hivi na hivi eh ka hapo fili uko hapo hivyo nitakuja kukupika wewe usitoke mimi ndio nitakuchukua kumbe hawa tuko nao wote hapa tuko under one agent lakini hatujuani sasa huyu Daniel ndiye ana, anapigia mmoja kwa mmoja wewe naitwa hivi na hivi I can see you anakuta anamjukua wewe ujui kama ni yeye anampeleka mahali anampeleka kwa vile mimi ndio nilikuwa mwanaume hapo na wengine walikuwa wasichana akanichukua wa mwisho kabisa kumbe ni Mungu alikuwa amepanga hayo nikachukua wa mwisho kabisa saa mbili ya usiku wale wengine asapelekwa kila mtu mahali pake sasa venye amekuja kunijukua nikashindwa ala Si huyu mtu ndiye alikuwa anapita pita hapa na pepa huyu anaenda na pepa huyu anaenda kumbe ndiyo huyu. Haya. Kanipepa hapo na gari yake kubwa hapo tukaenda mpaka mahali inaitwa Achman. Achman ndio nilienda kufanya kazi sasa. Mimi nilimuuliza kwanza anaenda kufanya kazi kazi gani? Akaniambia si wewe ni driver. Wewe kuna yadi kubwa sana huko. Wanauza magari. Kasi yako ni kutoa gari inche kama mtu anataka hii gari sisi simepangwa wewe unasipangua unasipangua unatengeneza barabara unatoa ile paka chini hapo inche mtu anainunua alafu unarudisha hizo zingine hapo ukule 110 kwanza wewe wewe unafaa kuja kunulia mbusi ukirudi you will thank me later oh. asa nasikia hivyo nasema ma, mungu mungu mungu, mungu nisaidie tukatembea hivyo kufika chiman ni saa mbili saa tatu hivi usiku nikaingizwa huko ndani nikaenda kwa hostel fulani watu wamechaa chini hapa wamekaa chini chini kwa floor chini nikasindwa nini naendelea hapa ati hapa ndio utaingia hapa ndio utakuwa kika ala kwani hakuna fiti hapa kumbe hakuna fiti watu wanakaa chini wanakulia chini sasa hiyo sasa nafuruta bagi kutoka pale nafuruta bagi yangu chini wakasema Hai 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 hai. Yaani wakati watu tuna tunalia mahali tuko na ndio wengine wanaendelea kukuja. Wakaniuliza, "Where do you come from?" Nikamwambia, "I come from Kenya." Kenya. Oh, we have only one Kenyan here. So you are two now. Please. The first thing waliniuliza Do you have your passport? Nikawaambia yes. Go back. Go back to your country. Ara, ni nini tena? 